I love, I love the term you used with, the, with what you just explained it with being, like they view you as a, almost like a CEO. Um, I see, I actually did a presentation um, last week at a conference, you know, how to incorporate um, social entrepreneurship in your programs. Um, and I seen, there seems to be a trend overall of a lot of nonprofits of uh, being, carrying over some of that language or those paradigms of business or being enterprising in general over to these nonprofit sectors, um, do you do you think it's helpful for you to kind of view it in those lens? Because a lot, a lot of times higher ed, it's about learning and it's about education, but there's bills to be paid. There's things to be managed that go beyond the classroom. You know, do you do you find we're we're getting better at, at using that language? I, I think we're making progress. Yeah. And you know, I had and this is a, you can't make these stories up, but in the same day, a couple couple of years ago. Um, two faculty members spoke to me, and they said almost the same sentence. But I'm going to. Mm. The inflection was very different. One person said, "You brought a business model to Caldwell," <laughs> and it was like, "Finally, wow!" Yes. And the other person said, "You brought a business model wow. to Caldwell," and it was like, "And this is the the lowest point we've ever sunk wow. to." And you know what I said to the to the latter person? I said, "You know, I never lose sight of the fact that we're an institution of higher education." Learning is our business. Mm -hmm. We're a very special type of business. But our students and their family members, particularly their parents, if they're helping to pay the tuition or their residence bills, they view themselves as customers. Mm -hmm. They view themselves as clients. So we would be well served to think from their perspective. And Mm -hmm. it is a business to the extent that I would never conceive of Mm -hmm. getting to a, a Friday and saying, I can't make payroll. Yeah, or I can't right. pay you. I have to keep that in mind as I'm making decisions about programs that are added, you know, things that will enhance our mission or demonstrate our mission out in broader society. So I think that there is a growing acceptance, sometimes a grudging acceptance. Yeah, I've seen that too. That we have to con- consider ourselves a business. To that extent, for example, in our strategic planning process here on the campus, um, we now require any new initiative that, that takes any amount of resources at all to have a completed business plan. That's great. And that just helps us to decide that if we're going to invest money in a new program, a new resource, a new facility, what, if anything, is going to be the return on investment and when will that happen? Now, it doesn't mean that that's, you know, if, if there's no return, that we won't take Mm -hmm. the step to go forward but we'll know that and then we have to make that with our eyes wide open that decision